My name's Keely Miller. I'm a bassoon instructor with REW Music, and here are some bassoon tips on video for you to use to practice at home. Today we're going to talk about bassoon reeds. The most important feature of a bassoon reed is that it is a double reed. If you're familiar with woodwind instruments, you know that many of them use single reeds to play. I have here a clarinet reed. As you can see, it is a flat piece of cane with only one layer. Now, most double reeds, such as bassoon reeds, are two pieces of cane that are fashioned together to create a double reed. The reason double reeds are so special is because you can play a double reed all by itself without any support of any kind of mouthpiece, like this. This is my special polymer double reed that is my own personal reed for use, and this is a student cane reed. This is what it sounds like when it's been soaked in water. It has kind of a different distinct sound. What we're going to discuss today is why the double reed is the way it is and how we can adjust it to use it for our own practice and for our own playing. If you look closely at a double reed, you can see that there is a hole right here at the tip. This is known as the aperture of the bassoon reed. An aperture is what um, vibrates against each other itself to create the sound. When a reed vibrates, that's how it creates the sound through the instrument. A double reed can create its own sound by itself by having two pieces of cane vibrating against each other, unlike a single reed which needs a mouthpiece in order to make that noise. Now, I have here two specific kind of reeds as I mentioned, a cane reed and a polymer reed. This cane reed is a student reed known as an emerald. It is a mass produced cane reed that you can buy um, at any music store. You could probably buy it here at REW. There are other cane reeds that you can purchase from private bassoon instructors. Those canes are personally made by, um, by hand by those instructors. They are great cane reeds because they are usually adjusted to be ready to play right away. Reeds like this need a little bit of work in order to be ready to use. Usually with a reed kit or any other kind of reed knives that you can scrape thickness off of in order to make it more playable. This reed, which I use the most in my pl in playing and practice, is known as a Legier reed. It's a much more expensive reed, but it's a much more long-lived reed. It can last for up to a year, and it is usually very responsive to a player right away instead of taking a lot of playing like a cane reed in order to be um, ready to play. It's harder to adjust a plastic reed or polymer reed when it gets um, to a point where it's older and not producing as much sound. So you have to be very careful if you're using a reed knife to adjust it. It is possible, but you have to be very, very careful not to nick the reed or else it will be useless. These are a couple different reeds that you can use to play with and they will help you decide which quality of sound you prefer. I find that wood cane reeds are a little um, more personalizable. You can make them into something that will work for you. Plastic reeds are going to be much easier to play, and I think that they're awesome for um, newer students who are looking for something that will help them create a good sound right away. Thank you for watching these videos today. I hope you enjoyed them and learned something new about the bassoon. If you're interested in private lessons on the bassoon, contact REW, and I hope to see you soon. Thanks.